I'm Stephen Wynn. Christine Niles is in Rome covering the Synod. Today's Friday, October 4th, 2019. Here are your latest church militant headlines. The Vatican's former doctrine chief is reaffirming the church's ban on female clergy. Cardinal Gerhard Mueller told LifeSite News yesterday that Pope John Paul II's definitive ban on women deacons and priests is an infallible church dogma. Mueller's comments came after Bishop Erwin Kreutler, a key Amazon Synod organizer, asserted that church teaching on the male-only priesthood could be changed. A protege of serial homosexual predator Theodore McCarrick has been picked to investigate corruption in the Diocese of Buffalo. It was announced yesterday that the Vatican has appointed Brooklyn Bishop Nicholas DiMarzio to head a probe into clerical sex abuse and cover-up under Bishop Richard Malone. Many observers are slamming DiMarzio's selection, noting he was hand-picked by McCarrick to serve as Auxiliary Bishop of Newark under the disgraced former bishop. Faithful Catholics fear DiMarzio's probe will result in a whitewash of the corruption in Buffalo. Nearly 1,700 credibly accused priests are teaching, counseling, and adopting children with little or no oversight. The Associated Press revealed today that despite being removed from ministry, many predator priests still have access to minors. The report noted that background check failures have allowed abusive clergy to have access to vulnerable people. The report also highlighted the fact that because many accused priests have not been criminally prosecuted, it's been left to concerned citizens to keep track of them. An Australian prelate is denying reports that he and his brother bishops are considering dismantling their country's eight seminaries. Sydney Auxiliary Bishop Tony Randazzo said this week that reports that Australia's bishops plan to abandon the seminary system are not only false, but based on a dangerous misunderstanding of how priests are trained. Late last month, multiple secular media stories suggested that Australia's bishops were in talks to adopt a system of priest apprenticeships focused on interaction with the broader community. Northern Ireland is one step closer to legalizing abortion. Yesterday, a high court in Belfast declared that the country's abortion ban is a breach of the UK's commitment to human rights. Abortion activist Sarah Ewart has been pushing for the full legalization of abortion in Northern Ireland since killing her own unborn child in Great Britain in 2013. Lawmakers in London have been pushing since July to overturn Northern Irish protections for the unborn. I'm Stephen Wynn. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today where Michael talks about the Vatican marginalizing the faithful. God bless you.